No one deserves to be hurt. Physically, spiritually, emotionally, online, physically, in person, no one deserves to be hurt for who they are. I grew up very um, comfortable with the LGBTQIA community. My mom and dad had no problem sharing with me that, you know, my gunkles, as we called it, um, you know, were husbands or boyfriends. And it was fine. There was nothing weird to me. Phil grew up. His oldest sister um, was a lesbian. I mean, she was the most inspiring human I think he, he's, he's had in his life besides his parents. And so for us, you know, the gay community was never anything to shy away from. So then moving into the fashion and beauty industry and the celebrity industry, obviously that was not anything uh, different. So for both Phil and myself, it was just another community. You know, just like we had the Filipino community, we had Phil Southern community, we had, you know, our LGBTQIA community, and and we embraced and loved all of that. But I always felt like somehow, even though I, as a straight woman, I was watching the injustice. I was watching, you know, my closest friends being told that they didn't have the same rights as I did. As, as a straight woman or, or Phil as a straight man. And we knew that we needed to do what we could do in our way to raise awareness for this community and be a part of someone who can stand up and say, hey, this is not right, this is not fair. And God, because he's funny with the way he does, he gave us the gay child. And he said, okay, well, you're gonna go big let's go big then. And Sophie was born and she, she was Sophie from the minute that she came out. <laughs> when Sophie came out into the world, no pun intended, she came out into the world. And it sounds funny, but we knew from the minute we laid eyes on her that she was gay. We just knew. We didn't treat it like it was anything weird or different. It was just who Sophie was. So the day she really decided to quote unquote come out, we were sitting at the dinner table and bless her heart, I think she wanted to make it this, you know, big, exciting moment for her. And um, you know, she sat down and she said, she said, guys, I really, you know, I have something I want to share. And, you know, it's from my heart and, and I love you. And, you know, I feel like I was born into the best family and I'm so grateful. And I just, you know, I want everyone to know that, you know, I'm, I'm a lesbian. And literally, <laughs> literally we were all like, mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> She's like, wait a minute, where's my balloons? Where's my moment? Isn't anybody like upset or worried or happy, anything? And we were like, yeah, no, we know. And, um, and we laugh about it now because it was just who she always was. It has been a wonderful journey because it allows us to explore, you know, all different kinds of worlds. Now, let's be honest, having a gay teenager is different than being an adult in the gay world. So we are actually experiencing a lot of different things and a lot of different groups because sadly, a lot of kids who are part of the LGBTQIA community, they are not accepted and they are not loved and they are pushed out of their homes or not accepted. And this leads to um, depression and sadness and anxiety and self-hurt. And for us, that's, it's unfathomable, you know, because you have this child that God gave you and what they deserve is for you to try and help and understand who they are. We are learning every single day when it comes to the LGBTQIA plus community. First of all, Sophie does teach us so much. Um, it is changing quickly and that is a great thing. I will say there is a lot more acceptance. Um, I think due to social media, there's um, 
a lot more. You're you're able to learn quickly about things that are happening. But yes, we often have to ask Sophie from everything from flags to terminology, to gender identity, to non-binary, to queer, lesbian, gay. <laughs> She's teaching us new new ways and um, new ways to think and new, new, new opportunities for us to open up and new ways to help. And her sisters too. You know, her sisters, Pilar and Vivian, love Sophie beyond, there's no even no words to describe how much they love her and they want to support too. So they're always learning. They're always teaching us. So we're very, very proud of, of them because they teach us every single day. You know, Pride Month is, well, it's Pride Month here all year long, let's be honest. But Pride Month to me is absolutely a time of celebration and love and rainbows and unicorn and, and glitter and sparkles and fans. We always have fans, let's be honest. <laughs> but um, Pride Month is also a time for education and a time to open up your mind and open up your energies and your spirits and see maybe that this world is not as scary or as foreign to what you know right this is about love and this is about acceptance and this is about celebrating your people and celebrating each other for who we are you know our duty as parents is the most important thing and 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 look it's never too late. This is the best part because a lot of, you know, my friends or a lot of people write to me online and they say, well, you know, I didn't accept my child, you know, when they told me that they, you know, that they were gay and, and I did push them out and I, now I'm sorry and now I want a relationship with them. You know what? It's not too late. You can always go back. Tell them that you love them. Tell them that you made a mistake. We're all human, right? We all have feelings and we don't always know what to do with them. But if you lead with love, if you say to them, I'm here now, I'm pretty sure they're going to want that mom hug that they didn't maybe get. We're all going to have different views, right, when it comes to certain things you know my my uncle who i loved so much who has passed away he always says that's why they make chocolate and vanilla ice cream right it's not we're all not gonna like the same thing but what we can do is we can open up our hearts and our minds and accept that everyone is different and that's what makes this world such a beautiful place we have a lot of work to do we have a lot of work to do and um we're ready we're ready. We're ready to change the world. And we are five little musketeers over here. And uh, we are very, very proud to help and support um, something that's long overdue. And that's quality.